I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, peoples? Okay, we got an author on the show today. You know, I love authors. And me being a person that really wants to author a book, I love interviewing authors, finding out what they're doing with their books and how they came about, you know, writing the books, what influenced them. And so we have Stefan on the show today. Welcome. All right. So tell us about yourself. Well, I was born in Brazil in 1940 and uh, grew up in Brazil from Swiss parents. And they moved to Switzerland when I was 19 years old. Uh, to study, I studied mechanical engineering there, met my wife, married, had two children, went back to Brazil for 12 years, then went back to Switzerland and stayed there for the rest of my professional life. Uh, after retirement, uh, my wife Marianne and I uh, had a uh, RV custom made for us, and we had to travel around the world for 12 years. And uh, when we stopped traveling because of uh, our old age, <laughs> we moved to the States to stay near our, uh, our children and grandchildren. And this is where I am now. And uh, when my wife died, I, uh, I was really lost somehow and I started to write for myself. And then I thought perhaps this, what I'm writing is interesting for my grandchildren too. And uh, then later on I thought perhaps it's interesting for other people and my family encouraged me on that. So I decided to make a real book out of it. Wow. And that's how the book was born. Wow, that is so cool. My condolences for your wife. You know, thank you very much. We all have a moment where we have to go. Yes, all, yes all of absolutely. Us. And unfortunately, it's sad whether you go first or whether you go last. It doesn't really matter. I don't think it gets any easier for anybody that's left here, but we all have to go. But the, the, the book and its dedication to your wife, tell me about that. It, it, it is, it, it, it is, uh, it, it, yeah, it, it is mainly dedication to my wife. But I also uh, thought it would be interesting for perhaps for people to see what you can, what, what, what the world is when you travel around and uh, meet people from all over the place. And uh, as I thought, this could be interesting for other people too. Wow. So tell me what was that like with you and your wife, you know, to travel all that time and to, to learn about the, the States? What did you learn? Well, I learned lots of things. I think most of, most important thing is that 90% um, of humanity is good. It doesn't matter where you are, uh, with whom you talk, uh, which which religion, which uh, from where the people come, people are good in general. And I would say uh, 5% are saints and 5% are devils. <laughs> so, <laughs> but 90% are absolutely okay. Wow. It's hard to see. I mean, when you're stuck in, in one area for so long, and you go out, what was that like for you? Well, it was always a, a change, but it was also, um, a, a, how to say, it was, it was a, a, also very interesting. You, you, you left a, a place where you knew everything about it or a lot about it and you go to a place where you don't know anything about it and it's a, a challenge a bit but it's very interesting and very rewarding too awesome what was the best time that you had like what was the most memorable moment that you had with you and your wife on the road for those 12 years you know, I, I cannot say there was there are many such moments, and uh, under very different circumstances. 
sometimes we were traveling and seeing new things every day and that was fascinating the landscapes were fantastic and everything and other times we stayed for in a certain place for a long time and uh, that was the place we liked and it was wonderful and uh, i remember for instance australia uh, some places where we stayed for a long time, like uh, uh, Broome, a city in the uh, northwest uh, uh, of Australia, and uh, south of Sydney in uh, uh, Bulai Beach. And then uh, there are lots of places that, that are wonderful. And I cannot say one was better than the other or was very special. We, we enjoyed everything. Awesome, awesome. You know, I, I'm kind of curious, did you take your trailer or your RV with you and how did you do that? Or did you leave it in a place? We, we, uh, we traveled with it all the time. We shipped it from one continent to the other, but every year we went for a a few weeks back to Switzerland to look to, to meet the family, the friends, and to get the, the paperwork done you know, with the banks and with the income tax and all that. Uh, and when we did that, we left, left the car with somebody we met and we had to, we trusted that person. So we left the car there. Wow. Wow. So that must have been interesting. I mean, to ship it all over the world in your yes. RV, that must have been so cool, though. I mean, like you get there, the RV gets there, you're there, you're with your wife, the RV goes, and there you go. Whoa, yeah. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And you know, wow. the, the, the RV was actually our home. Mm -hmm. And it was a very, very interesting to, to find your home. You, you ship it, then you go by plane, and then uh, at the other side, and then the car comes, and you, you get your home back, you know, <laughs> and wow. go on. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. Wow. Is there at any moment that you would want to change something, or was it always just amazing for you? Uh, there were some, some, some. Uh, we had some adventures that were not so, not so funny. Uh, in the book, I, I tell about a, a case when, uh, when uh, our car lost power. Oh no! And we mo almost fell down into into huge, uh, into, <laughs> into huge, huge hole. Let's say. And uh, this, oh I would, gosh. I would love not to have uh, done, gone through this. I, I agree. There was a small tree that held us up. Oh my it, God. It's all, it's all in the book, but it, it's, uh, that, that was not a very nice adventure. No. No. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. But you got out of it. And you kept yeah, the, we, the car was stopped on the, on, against a tree. Mm. And then we were able to 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 get in a position where we could because you know we were driving up a, a uphill, very very steep, and then it lost power, and the 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 brakes were not working so well backwards, and the star, car started to go backwards, and uh, got out of the road and we hit it at the small tree. And then I use a tree as a as a as a break, and move the car so that it was not uh, parallel to the road but perpendicular to it. So I got back on the road, and then I, I couldn't go down forward. I had to go backwards, down the whole this whole hill, back to the to the to the bottom. And there I, I put the fir uh, first gear and uh, put all full power and I managed to get up uh, out of, of that place. Oh my gosh, that, is, that, that, that must that have been quite, scary. 
<laughs> I thought it was really scary, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not for me. Not for me. No, <laughs> definitely not for me. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh my gosh, you guys can you can laugh about that now. But I can laugh about that now. Yeah, I do. But you know, uh, in a way, afterwards you 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 feel good that you managed to get out of that. And uh, you have something to tell, you know, and it's, it's <laughs> but um, I could have lived without it. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have lived without it. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this book is just an amazing adventure of you and your wife on the road. You know, we, we all have something that we want to leave people. What did your wife leave you? Uh, wonderful memories, wonderful memories, and uh, and uh, well, with her, a uh, part of me went went away too. I I um, I lost um, lost half of myself when she went. Wow, and it well, never came back. Well, this book is a piece of her and definitely something that we all should admire. She's such a wonderful person. What was her name? Marianne. This is forever for her. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you oh. so much. And thank you so much for reliving the 12 years <laughs> on the road <laughs> with your wife. And, and yeah, you could have lived without that moment. <laughs> Just gonna say. <laughs> yeah. But I, 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 perhaps I have to tell you something else. Yes, definitely. Uh, um, I, in the book, I have three fables. And uh, the reason is because, you know, when you travel all that time together, we have a lot to talk about, we have lots of experiences and so on. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to tell about that too. But I, I, you know, I don't like when I read a book. And the author starts to tell, to tell about his views of things and start to, 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 to sort of force their ideas on you. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to tell you in, in a more neutral way. Okay. And I, I saw that Leonardo da Vinci, few people know that he wrote also fables. And his fables are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I thought this is a good way to, to, to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So in, in, the, in those fables, I, I, I tell what I thought, what we learned, but it's a fable, I'm not, not forcing it on people, you know, right. they can read that and, uh, and uh, amuse themselves or don't like it or whatever, but, uh, but I'm not, uh, not forcing anything. Mm -hmm. That's why I have fables in the book. That is so cool. That's just great. I mean, to have all of that and then to have the fables and then to have all of that come together, you know, in one book, you know, are you writing another book? Is there another book in your, in, inside of you somewhere? Yes, I am. I am working on another book. Awesome. But the, that one is a very complex thing. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm working it for a couple of years now. And I am not getting so many, much far at the moment. But I hope someday I'll, I'll have it. Yeah, I'll definitely. have it done. <laughs> just keep, just keep working on it. You'll get it. You'll get it. It'll come. I, I, I hope so. Thank It'll you very come. much for encouraging me. Anytime, anytime. And I want to thank you guys so much. <clears throat> and I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to go to the link in the description box. So we're going to have that link. And we're also going to have, um, you know, a, around the world in 12 years and 12 square meters. Well, we get, okay. So wait, 12 square meters. What is that? Our, our motorhome, our RV. Ah. It had about 12 square meters of, uh, of a living space. I gotcha. And wow. we had a small apartment in Switzerland where we went to, to stay there when we were in Switzerland, which was also 12 square meters. Okay. So wow. we lived 12 years in, 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 12, in 12 square, 12 square, square meters. meters. Wow. And that I thought cool. that's, uh, that's uh, funny, and I put it as a title. Yeah. 
Awesome. That I can understand that now. Well, thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. Bye. Till next time. Goodbye. Thank you.